Yo, Yo, what, what up, up, Owl Nation? We are very excited to bring you episode 19 of OW TV. Spring sports had a big week. Girls soccer had a game on Tuesday against Olathe East and another game tonight against Lawrence Free State. JV boys golf finished second at Lionsgate on Monday and the varsity team ran out the same tournament. On Tuesday, the JV played at Lake Shawnee and finished first place. Yesterday, the swim and dive team faced off against St. James and Olathe East. The baseball team is off to a hot start coming off a 15-0 victory against Gardner Edgerton. The track and field team will compete against Olathe North tomorrow at ODAC. My best friend Miss Guzman and the softball team took on Olathe East on Tuesday and they play against Olathe South tonight. Speaking of friendship, Vicky is here bringing us the friendship game. Hey Owls, I'm Vicky. And I'm Ellie. And today we're going to be playing a game to see who's the better duo. Question, you want to Just... What's your best friend's favorite book genre? <laughs> Fantasy! <laughs> okay. you all... Um, um, root beer. Root beer. No. No root beer. Okay. Root beer. Root beer. Root beer. Root beer. Root beer. What is your best friend's dad's name? I don't know. <laughs> Mark. Big Mark. Hi, I'm Emery, and I'm Alex. Bear. Root beer. No. Root beer. Can you see it? I, I would back up like a little Here, more. You can, can see Ellie's. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ready? Oh I'll, say it. I'll say it. I'll say it. <laughs> what is our dream job? Elementary school teacher. <laughs> Woo! Mama Ramen. Wait, would you say journalist? Yes, I would have said journalist. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like run away. It's like right here. In the curtains. Yeah. It's gonna be like, are they gonna do bonus questions? It's gonna be like, what's, wait, what, what do you think they would do? I don't know. What, what, what do you guys? What's the last year I had? <laughs> That's wild. I need to get like closer. Wow. The heart is crazy. Okay, ready? <laughs> <clears throat> what is your best friend's favorite flower? Rose! Yay! Woo! Let's go! I don't know what I would have said, but... No, but you just gotta grab the cup. Fruit beer. Hey, Siri. Okay, okay. <laughs> Should I stop recording? Should I stop? Oh. 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 Fruit beer, no! I know it's 30 Make sure you have an advantage, because oh, yeah. your right hand's right here. Did you see? You're watching Odeb TV. Wait, should we do it uh, the O and then the W? <laughs> Gratulerer til Vicky og alle de andre som ble valgt i Student Council. What does that mean? It means congrats to Vicky and all the other newly elected candidates for Student Council. Theo, I didn't know you spoke Norwegian. Just like Mike and Taj, I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve. Here's our new segment, Magic Mike and Tricky Taj. Ready? Yeah. Wow, that's really cool, Micah. <laughs> Thanks, Todd. <laughs> uh, do you want to see a magic trick? Yeah, give me something. Okay, pick a card, any card. Show the camera. Okay, Micah, I just want you to put this card on top of the deck. On top? Yep. Okay, oh, yeah. now I want you to cut the deck in half. And I put the top on. Yep. Make sure it's all straightened up. That card has to be lost in there. Oh, it's so lost. It's lost, right? Yep. Now, from your facial expressions, I will find this card. Okay. Hmm. I don't believe it's in here. All right, but I think it's one of these. Okay, I need your finger now. I want you to go over all the cards. And your intuition is gonna tell me which one was your card, okay? Okay. Keep going. Stop. Was that your card, Micah? Thank you, this is magic with Taj and Micah. <laughs> <laughs> What card is this, Micah? Ace of Hearts. I'll show the camera. Ace of Hearts. Look at the cards. Boom! Oh, okay, that's actually so tough. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brandon, do you know
you know what else is magical? Giving blood. The student council hosted the second blood drive of the year a few weeks back. Thank you to the Stuco members who helped out. Donating blood can save lives. So can mental health awareness. Let's send it over to Zach, Brooke, and Allie with the second installment of Psych Sesh. <laughs> I'm Ms. Hicks. I am um, a school counselor here at Olathe West. I currently work with um, the sophomore class. Um, I started my career actually working in the mental health field. So I spent several years working um, for Johnson County Mental Health. And then I decided to go back to grad school and um, get my master's degree in school counseling. I've just always had a passion for um, working with people. I've worked with adults and, and youth. So, um, but I really enjoy working with students here at Olathe West. I think it's important to know that we all can be impacted by mental health and mental illness. It's important to take care of ourselves, um, to recognize when we're not doing well or when we're struggling. We all can be impacted by the effects that mental illness can bring. And so, um, you know, I really encourage individuals and students um, to have a healthy balance in life, to take care of themselves, to get, you know, eat well, sleep well, and feeling overall really well and good. It's making sure you have a healthy balance between time that you're doing schoolwork and, and also balancing that time with your outside activities and extracurricular activities that you're involved in. Therapy can be incredibly helpful. Um, I, I really encourage um, individuals that are thinking about therapy to, um, really a therapist is kind of working for you. So finding someone that is um, a good match for you, because not every um, therapist is going to be a good match. So having someone outside to talk to can be really helpful. I really encourage individuals to, to give it a try, and, and if it's not right with one therapist, to try maybe other therapists. So I think it's, I think it's important to know that de depression can infect us all, and so taking care of yourself, taking care of your overall wellness, um, seeking help if it's major depression. I think that that would be a good time to maybe reach out. School counselors are here to help support students here at school. Um, finding someone to talk to, um, knowing that you know it's okay to not always be okay. You know I think we've heard that before. So knowing who you can reach out to, having supports in your life um, that you can talk to is going to be really important. I think we have a lot more information about mental health. I think it's a lot more less taboo. We recognize that it's an important topic to talk about and to recognize and um, like I said I think we, we, we recognize that it's we're not always all okay all the time and there's a lot of resources here at school here in our community um, for students and families to reach out to and so we, we really want to make sure that that's accessible and accessible to everyone. We need to be aware of mental health. You know what I think would be good for my mental health? What? Going to go see Into the Woods. Good thing Mercy and Jameson have an Into the Woods segment to show us. I play the witch. I play Rapunzel. I play the wolf. I play Little Red Riding Hood. Jack. I play Jack's mother. I play Baker's wife. I play the baker. Um, I would say that I relate to my character in how dynamic she is. Uh, she feels very deeply, but it doesn't usually end up going super well for her. I wouldn't say that I've cursed an entire bloodline with infertility, but other than that, it's pretty good. I would say I don't relate to my character because he's a predator and he's really creepy and likes to stalk people. I would say I do re relate to my character because I kind of feel like Little Red Riding Hood, especially in the Into the Woods adaption, she just has this sort of like fire that um, I don't really see in a lot of the other characters, maybe. I think I relate to my character just in like the way that he's free-spirited, so that's kind of how I am sometimes. And, but there's also like, I don't relate to him because he's also like a child, like he does childish things, so yeah. Um, I would relate to Jack's mother because she's broke and a little bit odd, so. <laughs> so I'd what? say that I do relate because she's very, strong-willed and she's very um, determined to get her point across and do what she believes is right and she doesn't like to take no for an answer. I really think that um, in rep we're really involved in both tech and the acting aspects of it and so getting to see all the tech aspects come to the life is really cool and getting to be like getting to have like our own like say and like uh, hands-on experience in them is really cool too. Um, my favorite part of the show process has probably been choreography because um, I applied for the position of choreographer and I was successful and so it's been really fun 
um, creating like these little dances in my head and then just like kind of seeing them come to life on the stage and I just can't wait for the actual end result for the shows so I can see them in full costume, full lighting and just I think it's really cool. My favorite part of the show has definitely just been like learning how to like mem like going through like memorization stuff like just like like singing over and over again until we get it right just like just those moments right there like like it'll it kind of helps us bring us all together as a cast and like it makes the show better for me i love props i made a harp it's over there i'm not gonna go grab it but i made a harp it's pretty cool <laughs> and i did pick it up Right now? Yeah. Come, Come see, see into, into the, the woods. woods. See what I'm saying? I cannot wait to see Into the Woods. Tickets are on sale now at odumtheater.com. Our owl actors will be performing next week on April 11th through the 13th with two showings on Saturday the 13th. Speaking of extra activities, ASU meets every second Thursday of the month during AI in room 2111. And the Latham West Prevet Club meets on the last Wednesday of every month from 3 to 4 p.m. in room 1215. Chess Club meets in the Commons after school on Monday. D&D Club meets in the library after school on Thursdays. Literally Legends Book Club meets Thursday from 3 to 4 in the library and has optional monthly book talks. Craft Club has an upcoming meeting on April 9th and the 23rd in, from 3 to 4 in room 1305. Scholars Bowl meets before school on Wednesdays and after school on Fridays in room 3111. The NHS Homework Center is open in room 2509 every seminar movement. If you're interested in participating in any of these clubs or groups, look for posters around the school for more information. Hey, Brandon, what's your favorite quote? Elbert Hubber once said, don't take life so seriously, you might not make it out alive. I like that one. My favorite quote is, here's Ethan, Caitlin, and Ari with some teacher quotes. Quote of the day. Quote of the day. <laughs> Mr. Falcon, Mr. Falcon. Hey, what's up? Could you give us a quote of the day? Sure. Uh, one of my favorites from my days in the Air Force, an old drill sergeant told it to me, it's everything changes and nothing changes. Thank you. You're welcome. Coach Ball, Coach Ball, can we get a quote of the day? Quote of the day. Our quote of the day for basketball is, opportunity plus preparation equals luck. Thank you. Yep. Coach Enright. Yeah. What's the, what's the quote of the day? There's three kinds of people in this world, Ethan. Those that can count, and those that can't. Amen, brother. Miss Hodge, Miss Hodge, can we get a quote of the day? Oh, absolutely. Um, this is for actually uh, Tevin Gassaway, okay? You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Thank you. You're welcome. Coach Pitts, Coach Pitts. Hey, how you doing? Can you give us a quote of the day? Well, let's everyone treat each every, everyone right so we can all have a great day. Thank you. Miss Ari, Miss Ari, can we get a quote of the day? Sure. Um, from Dana Kapatrick, figure out what you love and do it. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Luke, what's the quote of the day? Thomas Edison failed a hundred times to make the light bulb, and then he got it. Keep trying. Mr. Goral, Mr. Goral, hey. can you give us a quote of the day? Sure. Uh, don't forget to add a twinkle to your wrinkle. Thank you. You won't. <clears throat> Kayla Willingham is going to get. <laughs> Why do I keep saying that? Kaylin, 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 Kaylin. I'm just going to say Kaylin. Okay. I think I'm worried about Willing Hamburger now. <laughs> Kaylin, what is the quote of the day? Mr. Styles once said, You come at the king, you best not miss. That's from Omar Little from The Wire. Yeah, boy. Give us a quote of the day. A quote of the day? Yeah. Let me think, let me think. If you give a man a fish, he eats for one day, but if you teach a man a fish, he eats for a lifetime. Thank you. Is that all for today? Not quite. To end today's show, we are asking seniors to send in videos for our senior send-off video. Must be school appropriate and will be approved by Odo TV. You can submit your videos through Google Form. The QR code is now on the screen and the link is posted on our social media. Now, that's all for today. Bye, Bye Owls! Owls.